So let's work through a couple more example problems of these polynomial special products when we're looking at perfect squares. And one way to approach this is to just rewrite it and think about what it means to square something. So squaring something, remember, just means to take whatever your base is and multiply it that many times, or multiply it twice in this case. So we're going to take our 4d squared minus 2d to the seventh and multiply it by itself. 4d squared minus 2d to the seventh. And we will multiply these using distribution. So the 4d squared will multiply into both of those. And the minus 2d to the seventh will multiply into both of those. So we get down here, that is 4d squared times 4d squared, so 4 times 4 is 16, d squared times d squared is d to the 4th, then we do 4d squared minus 2d to the 7th, so 4 and minus 2, that's minus 8, d squared times d to the 7th, well we have 2 d's here, and 7 more here, so in total we have 9 d's multiplied together. And then we start over with the minus 2d to the 7th. We're going to multiply that to 4d squared. And minus 2 and 4 gives us minus 8. d to the 7th times d squared is d to the 9th. Notice we got the same term twice. And then we take our minus 2d to the 7th and multiply it by minus 2d to the 7th. And minus 2 times minus 2, that's positive 4. And d to the 7th times d to the 7th. Well, we have 7 here, and we're multiplying d another 7 times. So in total, that is 14 d's multiplied together. And we can simplify. We can combine these two middle terms since they are like terms. They both have a d to the 9th in them. So we have 16 d to the 4th. Now we're subtracting 8 of this thing, and then we're taking away 8 more of that same thing. And so we, in total, are taking away 16 of the d to the 9th. And we have plus 4d to the 14th. So this should be our final answer. And the way to check this is to use the formula. So remember the formula a plus b squared, which we looked at in the intro video, is just a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And we would just need to identify what a and b are. So let's quickly do this just so that we can feel certain that we're doing this correctly. So for us, let's plug this in. We have a squared, so that's 4d squared, and we're squaring that, and then plus 2 times a, so 4d squared times b, which is minus 2d to the seventh. And let me just make actually a little bit more room so we can keep writing this. And then we have plus b squared. And so b we know is minus 2d to the seventh. And so now we just simplify. So squaring this, we get 16d to the fourth. We can multiply all the number terms here. So that's 8 times minus 2. That's minus 16d squared times d to the seventh is d to the ninth. And then we have minus 2d to the seventh, and we're squaring this. So minus 2 times minus 2, that's positive 4, d to the 7th. We have an exponent to an exponent, so we multiply that. So we get 7 times 2, which is 14. And notice, 16d to the 4th minus 16d to the 9th plus 4d to the 14th. We have the exact same answer using the formula. And since we arrived at the same answer using two different methods, we can feel confident that we are doing this correctly. So this will be our final answer here. And let's just do one more problem. And for this one, again, we'll just use the distribution method. And I encourage you to check this problem on your own using the formula. So let's just rewrite 8x to the fourth plus 1. We need to rewrite it twice since we are squaring it. So we have 8x to the 4th plus 1 times 8x to the 4th plus 1. And now we will distribute the 8x to the 4th to both of those terms. And we will also distribute the 1 to both of those terms. 
So 8x to the 4th times 8x to the 4th. 8 times 8 is 64. And we have 4x's here and 4 more here. So in total, we are multiplying 8 of them together. And then 8x to the 4th times 1. That's just positive 8x to the 4th. And then we do 1 times 8x to the 4th, which again is just 8x to the 4th. And then 1 times 1 is just 1. So we get plus 1 at the end. And now we just need to simplify everything. So notice that we have like terms here. We have 8 of these x to the 4ths, and we're adding 8 more x to the 4ths. So that's going to give us 16 of those x to the 4ths. And we still have the 64x to the 8th and the plus 1. So this should be our final answer. But like I mentioned, just to get some extra practice, I encourage you on your own, use the formula. That's a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And just identify that that's a and that's b and plug them into the formula.